Hi, let's take a look at Cubase Pro 9 and UH implementation. Cubase Pro 9 has a new Windows Zone layout option in the upper right corner, which allows you to open different zones within the project window. We have the left zone with the inspector and visibility tab, the lower zone with multiple tabs. We have the mix console tab, we have the editor tab, we have the sampler control, and finally the chord pads. On the right zone, we have the VST instruments and media bay. And finally, we have a transport, fixed transport option in the bottom. So now you can assign different user sellable keys in the Nuage Master Setup window. In under categories, you'll see Windows Zones, and you can show and hide different section, different zone. So I can now easily open and close different zone using the user assignable keys of our master control. So now let's take a look at the lower zone and editor tab. I can drag and drop a file from the right zone media bay into the edit window and quickly switch between my event window and lower zone editor. I can now navigate at different speed my project from the event window and the editor window, giving me a different perspective of my audio file. I can also zoom in and out from the event window and press the Alt and Shift buttons to magnify the content of the audio file, switch to the editor window, zoom in and out, and press and hold the Alt button to magnify the selected audio file. So now I can set the ruler of the editor window to sample or second, and the event window to timecode or bars and beats. I can set the left and right locator on my project and loop playback, or use a key command to play the selected file in the editor window. So now let's take a look at the sampler track in the lower zone, sampler control tab. I can add a sampler track to the project and drag and drop an audio file from the media bay into the lower zone. I can then play the file at different speed and then when ready, just hit the record button on the master control. Now let's take a look at the Fader Unit Quick Control section. I press the Edit button. We can then select any parameter of the sampler available on the lower zone, as well as all the parameters available in Cubase Pro 9, including plugins and the strip. In this case, I will select a few parameters from the sampler and a couple of parameters from the strip AQ sections, such as uh, Gain and Q. I can now use the flip section of the fader unit and use the faders to control the selected parameters of the quick control section. You can then render in place your sampler track to get an audio file with automation printed. Repeat the process if you'd like to get multiple versions or variation of the selected file. Now let's take a look under Insert of the new frequency headband AQ included in Cubase Pro 9. Now all the parameters can be customized under Insert. You can right click or control click 
select remote control editor and I have added a Yama Nuage tab and from there I can simply customize my layout and put the parameters that I'd like to, to have from left to right. Once I'm uh, done with my selection I simply click apply to change my layout. Finally, under the page control section of the FEDO unit, you'll find a history tab with the descriptions and details of each move performed on the mixer, including the time. Use the up and down buttons on the FEDO unit to undo or redo.